The cost of living in Idaho's mountain towns drove people to a Bellevue nonprofit in record numbers this winter. The Hunger Coalition, which works to increase access to healthy food, started more than two decades ago. Abby Davis visited recently. Abby, what stuck out to you up there? Yeah, Morgan, it may seem counterintuitive, but a spokesperson says the rise in people visiting might not be all bad. We really like take pride in it being a dignified resource. So you like shouldn't feel shame because like the economy is tough. The Hunger Coalition in Bellevue has a unique approach to helping community members struggling to afford groceries. Part of the reason Melanie Weber started working there. This center is more than just a place to get free food. Here in the gardens we see especially it's a place for people to open up and talk about their passion of gardening. It's really a huge community builder. And it's getting used by more people more often. Wages have stagnated while cost of living has risen. Coalition spokesperson Kristen McMahon says they're coming off one of their busiest winters on record. We served about um, 794 families in January, which is the second highest month on like in our organization's history. February was um, higher than usual too with uh, 776 families served. She says recent weather only made things worse. You folks who are um, who normally plow the roads or you know run the lifts or keep rooms clean for tourists are not getting reliable work this year because we haven't had as much snow as we might like. To support those needing help, the coalition hosts community meals twice a week. They also give out groceries throughout the month. We, I think, do a really good job of getting people food without a lot of hoops to jump through. It's a great place to be, and we hope that's that might be a small part of bringing more people in and seeing our numbers climb a little. McMahon says it's too early to tell whether they'll break records this spring, too. She says they could see high numbers since it's the off-season between winter and summer rushes, but of course it varies every year. Abby, she said it's the second busiest they've had since they opened more than two decades ago? Yeah, exactly, and it just keeps getting busier and busier. Oh, of course, as more people move into that area, too. All right, Abby, thank you.